Okay, everyone relax. And um, it doesn't matter if your eyes are open or closed, whatever you're comfortable with. As we go through this meditation, whenever I'm saying the words like look or see, this doesn't mean you need to visually see what's happening. We're talking about spirit sight and spirit sight just requires that you open up your senses and allow whatever comes in to come in. You may be sensing auditorially, visually, an instant download. Uh, it may be just a sense of knowing. However your experience is, we're calling it spirit sight, okay? Um, and don't worry about each experience may even have unique senses stimulated. If you close your eyes and all you see is pitch black, that's okay. Just say, you know what, I'm seeing with whatever I see. And you may find it's almost like you're seeing without seeing. And later you'll go, all I saw was pitch black, but I can remember every detail as though I was there and saw it. So just however it comes through. Spirit sight is never about looking for things. It's about receiving and fully accepting and letting it evolve as it will within your senses. So close your eyes and relax. Invite your feet to just relax. And all the energy in your feet is welcome to flow around you. Invite all the energy in your legs to flow through your feet and out of you. Breathe in comfortably. Inviting every breath to send its oxygen through your body. And as your feet are relaxed and the energy is flowing out and around, invite the top of your head to relax. And you feel as your feet relax by invitation, the top of your head wants to relax. And with the invitation, it automatically opens. It may even feel light and tingly as the energy flows in through your crown chakra, in through your third eye, in through your brain, fills your mind and flows down through your body down to your very relaxed feet, where it just continues flowing, spreading out from you, far and wide, flowing. You may feel like a waterfall is flowing in through you, or a beautiful mountain river. Or you may feel like the energy that comes out of your feet is tree roots spreading deep and wide into the earth. Or you may just feel like beautiful cosmic love, divine light. It's coming in through your very light and airy top of your head and just flowing unchecked through your body, down through your feet, deep into earth. Or our beloved Pacamama absorbs all this beautiful energy and spreads it far and wide to all of your brothers and sisters of nature who receive it with gracious gratitude. Breathe in. With each breath you find the energy that's flowing it's taking on a resonance of healing, loving, divine flow. And all of this love that's coming in through the top of your head and through your mind down through your neck and shoulders, 
down through your hands, your arms, your shoulders, back, front, the cavity of your being, down through your hips and your legs, through your ankles and feet, as though you are a hollow tube, a hollow bone of divine love. Allow yourself to be in the mouth of a beautiful cavern, a sacred divine cave. A cavern that you can tell has existed for eons and has meld, held many sacred ceremonies. A cavern that is filled with magic and divine love. And you can feel the difference between the air of the outer world behind you and the air of the inner world, the lower world before you as the deep, moist, cool, mineral-rich oxygen that's flowing up from the depths of this cavern greets your face. You breathe it in. It smells like the core of our planet. You can tell this cave goes deep and wide. As you look around, you can see the cave has crystals and grains has a persona all of its own and energy that emanates. Walk deeper into this cave. Explore the cave. And the further you go in, paying attention to the crystals around you. And the grade of the path ahead of you. And you'll notice even though you're going deep, deep into the cave, there is light emanating. As though the crystals themselves are sharing their light with you. There is no concern that you are anything but safe and cared for. As you walk deeper into the path, deeper into the earth, and you look around, how wide is the cave where you are? What kind of crystals are here? What does the air feel like? What is the pressure of the air upon you as you go deeper and deeper towards the core of our beautiful planet? As you continue walking, you can feel the magic in the air. You 
can feel the spirit of earth. And as the spirit of earth is in the air and the air is touching your skin, you can feel how you are one with the spirit of earth. As though Gaia herself is blowing her love upon you, breathing her beauty into your flesh. You continue walking and you see ahead a glow, a glow as the passage widens into an underground chamber that is lit by its own sacred love. And in the center of the chamber, you could see an altar that contains a sacred fire, a fire of unusual shape, form, and color. As you approach this altar and this fire, you can feel your heart opening with awe and wonderment to this place filled with mystique and the resonance of earth. Crystals lining all around the chamber. And as you approach this altar, You can see a small box rise up from the flame. And you realize this box is for you. You can reach your hand into the flame without any harm or concern. It is safe. And you feel this flame beckoning to you to reach your hand in and retrieve this box that is a gift for you. Take the box. Thank the flame for this gift. And you hear the flame say, when you go forward with your journey, whatever you need, whenever you need it, will be found in this box. And you open the box and you look inside and you find there is a small gift just for you. You may take this gift and place it in your heart where it will be secure and assist you with your journey ahead. Close your box and put it somewhere for safekeeping, a pocket, or absorbed into your hand, wherever you like. And then you hear a voice of one approaching, a voice that says, I am glad you're here been waiting for you. 
Shall we begin our journey? Who is there to greet you? Who will help you? <coughs> greet your companion. companion says, let me help you to see how much of your soul is in you and where are your missing pieces. And your companion blows a breath upon you. It is a breath that lights up your soul and you can see this light within you. When you look upon yourself, you can see where your soul is within you and wherever there are pieces missing. Take a moment, look within your soul. Look within your body. Where are there cracks, crevices, missing fragments? Your companion blows upon you, lighting up your soul within your being. Wherever you see a missing space, you notice there is a line or an energetic connection to where that soul fragment is. They may be out of your body, but they are not disassociated. They are not disconnected. companion says, call out to your soul, call all the missing shards and let's see how many come when you call. Call to them and whoever wishes, whoever can, tell them it's time to come home. Call out and as you call, notice which soul shards return immediately. And those that do not notice what happens between the connection of you and them. Is it taut or loose? Are they sending you an SOS or a I'll get to you later? Call out and see how everyone responds. You may call out several times and explore. So now, with the guidance and advice of your companion, select one small soul shard that is not in your body, one that will be a good first effort.
and your companion says, come with me. Let's go to the place of this missing soul shard. And you find yourself following the connection between you and the shard to instantly be where your soul shard is. You and your companion are instantly with your missing shard. Give yourself a moment to acclimate to your new surroundings. You can feel the presence of your soul shard here. Give yourself a moment to resonate with your new space. Is this a space you are in in this life or a past life? Is there anyone or anything here that is familiar to you? Or is it an elemental who has kidnapped your little soul splinter. Let the surrounding reveal itself to you and the captor of your soul present themselves to you in whatever way or format they are comfortable coming in with. How do you feel here? What is your emotional response? Who is holding your soul or what? Negotiate. Will this person, place, being release your soul? Are you able to take your soul and claim it to its rightful owner? Or will you pull out your little box and see what they would like in exchange? Do you wish to have a conversation? Take a moment to see why your soul remained here. But certainly now is the time for your soul shard to return home to you, to be within you. And it is time for you and your soul shard and your guide to return back to the sacred altar, the loving flame in your sacred cave. You can feel how you are a little more complete with yourself, intact. Give yourself a moment to like acclimate. Allow your root chakra to be fully connected to this divine healing space that Mother Gaia has given to you to recover and repair. Feeling grounded with love and divine resonance. Confer with your companion again for another fragment 
Which one do the two of you want to go for again? Allow your companion to help you find a resonance of energy, a line of energy to your fragment that together you will retrieve. And as you follow that line of energy to your soul fragment, you find yourself instantly and immediately in the location, the space, the time where your soul fragment is waiting for you. And again, give yourself a moment to acclimate to this time and space environment. Let your senses open and resonate with however you are receiving this place. It may be a different sensory experience from the last. But let the impressions fall in upon you. However they come in. Where are you? And in what time? Is it a place that you know from this life? Or a past life? or a place outside of life. Connect with your environment. How do you feel? What emotions and what other senses are being stimulated? Connect with your soul shard. Can you call it directly to you? Or is it being held against your will? How does that make you feel? What are the temptations of this place? Your companion is here to help you. Do you need to pull out your box, negotiate with whoever is holding or whatever is holding your soul shard? Go through your process to retrieve your shard even if it means leaving something in exchange. Is there any conversation you wish to have while you are here? Retrieve your shard. Make sure it is beautifully and firmly placed within you. And allow your companion to return you to your beautiful altar of the sacred fire. And now with the help of your companion, 
And with the knowledge now that you are very powerful. Your soul lives within you. Open your box. Call out to your shards. And invite your shards, as many as wish, to return to your being and let the box automatically send whatever is needed in trade while you are here by the altar and the sacred fire. Just allow the box to send many gifts outward and allow shards of your soul to come back in place and flow into your being like all the little babies come home. Let them absorb in. <sighs> Breathe in. Now turn to your friend, your guardian, your guide, and thank this being for helping you with this process. You might even embrace each other. And with the gratitude and joy that flows within you. Invite yourself to return to this time and this space within yourself. And as you are returning into your physical being in this time and this space, give yourself also a moment to let all the new shards and bits and pieces of your soul fully also resonate into your body. It may feel a little odd at first, so give them time to adjust and acclimate. You might need to wiggle a little bit, wiggle your body, your fingers, your toes, as you are shifting all the little soul bits and pieces into place and they are connecting with each other. Breathe in. And then gently, as you are ready, open your eyes and return to this space. <sighs>